Okay, so we have a little job here just today. Just um, it's just a small problem with this pot. This is a uh, this is cast. This is cast iron. So this is cracked, and there's only one way really to weld cast iron or to repair it is um, is to heat it and to stitch it with cast rods. So I'm going to make an attempt. Somebody has done this before, which is a complete mess and actually isn't really any advantage at all because in fact it's actually holding the crack uh, apart too much so i'm going to make an attempt at heating this up and trying to try to weld this and then i can grind off that that old weld a bit as well and i'm just going to try and tidy it up with the grinder for see can i get it a little bit sitting a little bit better as you can see it's there's a bit of a step in it here so it's all out of shape Look, they're not that awful expensive, so I'm not going to spend that much time on it, but they are a nice feature, so just going to tackle that now, and uh, yeah, you'll see what I'm doing from there on in. Uh, so some of it uh, could be slightly experimental, since I do know certain cast, if it's poor quality steel and that, I can still just act the mick, and I can just, just turn, uh, turn into a troublesome job, so... Uh, we'll get the tackle in here with the grinder and then we'll go from there. So the fact that this is cast as well, like bending or hammering it and that uh, isn't really an option. So as I as I said, there was there's kind of a small twist in it in places, so it's kind of off. Looks like another crack. But there's you can't necessarily you can't necessarily beat this into shape because it'll just break more. You'll break pieces out of it rather than actually bend it. <coughs> so as it's as it's not in great shape, you might just have to go with the way it is. It's going to more or less be a stick together job that it kind of pulls in and just stays in one piece. It's not going to be a, a sealed uh, kind of a situation here. Not that it needs to be anyway, but in a lot of cases, if you're trying to seal, a, let's say, a block of an engine, a cast block, you could stitch it and it would, it would seal. But in this case that's not going to happen and it's not going to need to seal so this is only going to be used as a flower pot so i think that is as good as it's going to be there in that position there so if i can if i can somehow get that to stay in that position till i get it kind of welded we'll be probably good we'll probably put a few tacks here on the outside i'd rather weld it on the inside but we'll see how it all goes and how it all turns out So I'm going to be welding it using these couple of rods up here. So I have these couple of cast rods here uh, sitting a while. Uh, they're CP 1010s. Um, I've, I just have them a while by. I did a job a long time ago. Look at hopefully they'll they'll do the trick. I'm not even sure if they're going to work, but we'll give it a go. Just get the gas pulled out now.
dry and wild over here now. Let's try and get a wee tip on this. So as you can see from the, so the most part it's stuck back together again. So I don't know exactly how successful it was, but it's, it is holding together. I have another crack on this side. So like, it's just gonna maybe keep spiraling. I'm just gonna try and stick that whole tack together, put plenty of uh, stitches on the inside of that there. And uh, if there's plenty of stitches on the inside, I'd be able to tidy this up on the outside with the grinder and just kind of leave it. If you put a good coat of paint on it, you would never really notice. I'm obviously going to have to give this a little bit of a run as well now, seeing as I noticed it.
So, Daphne, not my one of my fine bits of work, but you can still you can see the cracks on the outside, but that won't matter. Uh, I'm gonna give that a wee bit of a tidying up with the grinder. It's uh, literally only stitched together just to hold it together so it can do its job. Uh, there's plenty of stitches on it now, right round. Uh, there should be, shouldn't be really much reason why it'll break again. Obviously, of course, if it's dropped, something's going to break and it's probably going to break in another, in another place. But for now, uh, if it's tidied up and a bit of paint put on it, it'll, it's better than it falling apart. It'll do the job lovely. So um, I'm just going to clean up the grinder now on the outside. I'm not even going to touch the inside. Uh, I'll clean it on the outside and uh, give it a run of the wire brush on uh, on the drill or the grinder or something just to kind of roughen it up and then we'll give it a maybe a wee bit of coat of paint if I have some for it and that's it. So I couldn't find the drill, so let's do the trick. Let's see now. And paint. Just gonna give it a bit of degree so. It's just a pre um pre-white degree, so just it's dust and any kind of rough dirt off and it helps just the paint head here it's not very uh, scientific now this this job here since it's kind of it's fairly rough but a piece of the bench stuck to it but um it's just to kind of help I just hit it with some paint, see what it actually looks like. Ah, it looks alright. Gonna put the inner rim, do the inner rim of the pot so that you can, the pot that you can always be able to see. A bit of a lick. Not going to any great efforts. Just will tidy it up, just make it actually look like something. So it is possible to fix these pots, but like, or not. If it came down to the cost involved, like, it didn't take me that long. But whenever you take into account gas, your time, the welding rods are on expensive, but, well they are if you have to use a lot of them, but not in this case. 
So, reading through the assessor. And that's it. It's just going to drop the power for what exactly what it's about to do. It won't matter after that. <laughs>